Welcome back. Hi, glad to be here. Let's get this baby finished up. Parking brake today. Finish the rear wheel brake. And then we'll get on the inside dashboard stuff. Hopefully. Yep. We'll see. Looking good. Yep, so we got a, one more brake line to put in in the back that we didn't finish last time. Uh, that shouldn't <laughs> take too long. Um, and then, uh, it, depending on when we get done with that, we may move on to the parking brakes today. Or not. We'll see. It's, we got... I, I want you to turn around and take a picture of your desk there. I showed that See what he time. did while I wasn't here, huh? On his own? It looks a lot worse than it is, but remember this thing was piled like this high with crap. Yeah, it was totally empty. Yeah, I'm not going to like out here. Yeah. Oh, that's my stuff. This is all pops. Good stuff. job. Good and, job. And this. Not so good, but getting there. <laughs> well, this is where all this stuff no, we're using, I know, so. I know. And the floor, clean yeah, the floor. Yeah. Can't beat it. Clean the table off. Yeah. I've been busy. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. Cookie. All right, I don't know how successful I'm going to be at filming this, but we got to get a brake line from here. There you go. Over to... There. So I've got to fabricate a piece of hose to go over there. All right, so this monstrosity something like this on the car um, so that goes to the soft line that's connected to the body um, this goes up and over the rear end up and over the rear end and then back to the caliper fitting on this side so we're going to put the, the rock guard on and our fittings and get it done hopefully it fits so true to form forgot to put the fitting on before i flared it um, Hopefully there's enough slop in here that that little bit I lost on the end there will be okay. Uh, so now we'll see if we can get it up in there. All right, here we go. Um, could straighten out the lines a little bit better, but um, you can see it going up over the top here. I don't have this anchored up here anywhere, but I think it's okay. Um, and then it connects up right there, as you see. So brake lines are finished and we can proceed to bleed, bleed the brakes now the brake that you get is the parking brake there you go That's see how that good. worked all right so we got a new parking brake cable for this thing and we just got that mounted up there it was a little tricky to do but i put the vice grips like right on the end of that thing and while pops was pushing down there kind of dropped it in the slot there so that's good to go um I don't know that we're going to fully mount this yet. I just need to get it kind of in the car so I can see where all this stuff ends up um, for the parking brake setup. So let me get all the parts out and show you what we're up to. All right, since we have uh, disc brakes in the back, um, we got this low car kit here for the rear end. Um, this is pretty common. You'll see that a lot on cars here. So these ends here go onto the calipers in the back. And then you have to cut these down to the appropriate size. Uh, use this guy. We're going to mount this on the car somewhere. Um, and then this is what ties those to that. So first order of business is we've got to put this in the car, figure out where this is going to end up, and then that'll help set up where everything else goes. So we'll start with that. All right, so parking brake cable comes out right there. As I was telling Pops, this thing sticks a lot further back on the chassis than I thought it was going to. This thing comes a lot further back on the chassis than I thought it was going to. I was hoping to put the bracket right here. But that's not going to work. So this guy, I'm going to put it right here. Seems like a good place. Nice strong frame rail kind of thing there. Good thick steel. If I can put some bolts in there to hold that thing in place, I think it'll be good. Um, so this will sit like that. And then the driver's cable goes up around the four link and up and through there. And the other one will come over the frame rail and across to the other side. Yeah, the next step's a little more dangerous, so I drilled out for that thing. I haven't put it in there yet, but we've got to attach the cables here in the back. Um, 
So this thing's sitting on a jack stand and a jack, so hopefully it's safe, but i got to get my head up in there to get the, the thing on there. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I'll try and get you on a tripod if I can. Yeah, this is the part that didn't make sense in the instructions, as they say, feed this thing in and connect this to this. And you're like, how's that supposed to work? You have to take the cable out. <laughs> Yeah. So pull this thing out, then you can feed it through this thing and then feed it back. Why they didn't just do that from the factory, I don't know. Like so. See that? Like I said, you have to take the cable out of the, the sheath there in order to do that. Alright, so we got to get a cable attached right here. And then, and then onto that part right up. There. Oh, guys. Up there. Sorry, I can't film very easily here. Alright, so here's what we ended up doing here. So I took this one, ran it through the frame rail where the factory parking brake line came through, and up into the back there. Um, it's a little wonky here. I hope it's going to be okay. And we checked the rear end going up and down, making sure everything would clear. This is all the way down right now so when it goes up this tucks up in there better but it, it hits right up here and there's not much we could do about it so hopefully it's going to be okay uh, but you notice here i put it inboard instead of outboard because um, that just kind of worked better for this little turn there um, so that's good um, this we have to cut the length to match in here somewhere probably cut it right about there that should be good and then we have to do the other side. All right, so this thing is designed to take this guy here. Um, but this doesn't work with the, the parking brake we have. So what I'm going to do is hog this out here um, so that the factory parking brake cable will just slide through this instead. I don't know exactly how big yet, so we'll start with this. We're not. <laughs> Need a new drill. All right, it is the next day. Um, we didn't bother posting that video because there wasn't much to it. Um, got this guy bored out here. And <laughs> when we were doing this uh, last night, um, I kept telling Pops that the drill I had was dying because it just kept slipping. And I realized the clutch wasn't turned all the way up. So I turned the clutch all the way up and the thing smacked around and got my hand pretty good there. So I got some nice trauma. Um, that's amazing the amount of torque that thing has, but anyway, and then the drill bit got stuck So we had to use a pipe wrench to get it out and luckily it didn't break Anyway, so this is how this is supposed to work. So you got the set screws there. Sorry The set screws there. So we got the the driver's side done here and we'll move on to the passenger side today and Again, now this is gonna work then is this slides through there like that And then you can sorry you tighten this up and then now it's all one piece there so on to the other side okay so on the parking brake we did things a little different on this side um, on the other side we ran the cable and then measured where it needed to be then pulled it back out then cut it then put it back and this side i just ran it once cut it in place and then tried to feed the metal cable through that is really hard. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it was binding, like, just right here. I mean, I couldn't even get it started. Um, so we had the brilliant idea of putting a piece of tape on there to cover up the metal ends because they were digging in. And, of course, the tape got stuck in the tube. And then, so, I ended up taking a pair of vice grips and just pushing it through, like, one inch at a time, basically. And it finally came all the, all the way out the other side. It was about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. Um... And looks like most of the tape stayed intact, <laughs> but don't try that. That was dumb. Uh, so we dodged a bullet there. Luckily, this came out and everything was okay. Um, so let me show you how it's routed under there. All right, so it comes up right through there, goes under the four link or through the four link. And then we routed it up to the back here, put a a tie on it there at the back to hold it up to the back of the tunnel there to keep it away from the mufflers and everything. Um, and then it comes around right here along the bottom and then across and then 
ultimately over to the fitting over there. So we're all done with that, so all we gotta do now is attach it to the main parking brake, and it's ready to test. All right, so this guy, like some 5 sixteenths um, nuts here. So we wanna pull these things as tight as we can get here, lock them down. Um, and then I want to be able to tighten it up, so I probably want to move it loose that way. Tighten it up. Something like that. So I'll kind of put that guy tight there. here. Okay. Um, snug those up. back and cut these off later if I feel like it really hang it down here. That should be pretty good. It's nice and tight. So there's a lot of friction in this system. We're hoping that the parking brake springs on the calipers there have enough oomph. Yeah. Alright. So now I'm going to try and tighten this guy up here somehow. Alright, there we go. And I'll probably come back and trim these back later, but it feels pretty snug. Um, I probably want to put something up under here to protect this from here so it's not scraping right on the floor pan. If anybody's got any ideas on that, I can use some of that tank liner stuff that I put there, but if anybody has a better idea of something to put there, let me know. Um, I'm going to put the parking brake in and see if it works. Alright, so we got this done. Everything looks okay. But... It doesn't work. Um, the cables seem tight. The parking brake actuator is going on the, the rear brakes. Uh, it's just not locking. I was wondering if maybe they're self-adjusting or something, so I've done this, I don't know, 10 or 15 times. Keep hoping eventually it'll tighten up, but nothing yet, so I don't know. I said we did these brakes years ago, so I have to go back and look at the instructions to see if we missed something there or what. Um, those are just, you know, a couple of uh, brake shoes that engage the, uh, the hub there. So I don't know. So anyway, that's as far as we can take that today. I'm tired. All right. So you want to do some brake bleeding? Sure. Brake bleeding time. Okay. All right. So we we got this power bleeder thing. And so Pops is over here in charge of brake fluid. And I'm sucking it through the system here, starting in the back. Here. Hopefully you'll see some fluid come through here in a minute. Ready? Yeah, go. Oh.
You look okay? Yeah. Very slow. Huh. What? Maybe you have to dry in the driver's side first, I don't know. is taking its time. All right, we've been at this for about, I don't know, an hour? Yeah. Um, and we never got to the point where it was just sucking liquid out of those things, just constantly pulling air. Um, we checked all the fittings, everything seems tight. Um, there is some pedal feel, um, but if you open the bleeders here and press the brakes, no fluid comes out, so it's not really working. Not sure what the story is there, so we bled three of the four. We didn't get to this one yet. Um, we'll do that next time. Um, but we'll post this video and see if you guys have any ideas about uh, anything we may have missed here. Um, and if you press the brakes, the it doesn't stop the wheels at all, right? So it's, it's, there's no, no brakes whatsoever. Um, there is fluid coming out of here when we're pulling it out and ending up in the container. So we pulled you know, pretty much a whole bottle of brake fluid through the system, so seems like it's doing the right thing. We don't see any leaks anywhere. No. So we're kind of at a mess. Confusion here. Yeah. Yep, so. Can't figure it out yet. All right, so we'll go ahead and post this. Um, and if anybody has any ideas, let us know. Um, and uh, we'll pick it up next time, see, see where we ended up. All right, thanks, everybody.